I guess I should start this video by saying I am not a vegan at all. Somebody, a vegan person could post, hey, um, come cook with me while I make a vegan burger. And non-vegans be in the comments like, what is vegans infatuation with meat? Y'all are crazy, y'all are obsessed. Animal agriculture is the leading cause of species extinction, ocean dead zones, water pollution, and habitat destruction. If you have any consideration for the generations to come, I challenge you to think what's gonna be your thing. Hey Blossoms, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I create lifestyle and wellness content for flourishing blossoms just like you. I guess I should start this video by saying I am not a vegan at all. I think that that's really important for me to say up front so that you guys are not misled. I'm not a vegan, I'm not vegetarian. I wouldn't even go as far as to saying I'm plant-based. I'm just a girl who is continuing her journey of consciousness. Yeah, I just feel like that's important to let you guys know. I do make a lot of videos related to kind of meatless, vegan, vegetarian, and that is intentional. Um, it's because I do want to bring wellness content to this platform. And to me, um, wellness encompasses a lot of things. Obviously, body, mind, body, soul wellness, but also humankind wellness. And to me, being vegan or vegetarian is a good step towards humankind's well-being. Last night, I made a jackfruit pot roast i ended up making it with some meatless greens now these meals are not vegan or even vegetarian because i do season my meat i mean oops not meat i do season things with meat seasonings right so chicken bouillon was used butter was used all right so let's get into some background about this video why i think this video is important and what it's even about in like maybe 2015 or so I watched What the Health and Cowspiracy. Now, I'm not really sure on the years, but it did feel like I watched those during high school. Um, right away, I was uh, shocked, disgusted even, at the impact that the meat industry has, not only on our bodies and our health issues, but on our environment. So I think after watching that, I was vegetarian for a month, maybe three weeks in high school. And I'll never forget somebody who I was sitting at lunch with, I was explaining like, hey, I watch these movies, eating meat every day is really, really bad for our environment. It's contributing to the greenhouse gases. And this guy was like, you're one person, you're not making a difference. And at the time I was like, you're right, where's the chicken nuggets? <laughs> So fast forward to closer to now, in 2021, I was hanging out with a vegan friend and we went out to the mall and I was just like, you know, I'm gonna start eating vegetarian, right? So from July to maybe September or so of 2021, I was um, vegetarian. Really, I was just trying my best not to eat meat. Like I didn't eat any meat at home. At the time I was working somewhere where we got meals, so I didn't eat meat at work. But since 2021, pretty much, I have just been doing like fast. I know I've made a few vegan meals here. If you watched my encouragement video, or if you watched my chickpea curry video, or my stew, I make them, right? Like I make vegan meals, but I'm not vegan. In the back of my mind, it has always been important to me to, if I really want to tap in, if I really want to cleanse my body and my mind, like the vegan route or just more of a plant-based route is better. Plus, I have been noticing um, that eating meat was making me incredibly bloated. I have a trip coming up, so I decided from April to June, I was going to do no meat, only seafood. So that's how we got to where we were yesterday, where I made the jackfruit pot roast let's get into the reason why i titled this video veganism should not intimidate you like i said i've always for the past almost 10 years i've been encouraged to go the vegan route and it has kind of been scary it's a huge thing to decide to give up meat and dairy and that's one thing that i love about vegan people or just 
conscious people who choose to live vegan sometimes at least I really love that they have stopped being victims of convenience and what I mean by that is I think a lot of us eat meat because it's convenient like I can go to any fast food restaurant and get a quick little nugget and fries I can cook any simple meal with one veggie and a meat and a carb and I'll be fine but it's another thing to make a really fulfilling meatless meal looking at another step and saying hey i'm not going to use any animal byproduct i'm not going to use any dairy any anything that's huge that's taking something that could be so simple and convenient and making it hard and so it's just always been something i am inspired by is the fact that they do the hard thing with me being really inspired and just loving how they can put such colorful things on a plate of course, I follow a lot of vegan pages. I follow a lot of vegan influencers and I'm always in their comments and I'm so confused and surprised at like the, what's the word? Like the disconnect between vegans and non-vegans is crazy. Somebody, a vegan person could post, hey, um, come cook with me while I make a vegan burger. And non-vegans be in the comments like, what is vegans infatuation with meat? Y'all are crazy, y'all are obsessed. Just call it a mushroom burger. Just call it a chickpea burger. Just call it a tofu burger. I'm like, whoa, we're not arguing over them calling it a burger. We can't be, we can't be. Like, I've really started to realize that a lot of people think that vegans are vegan because they hate meat and they wanna save the animals. And I'm like, okay, that's valid. That makes sense. You know, a lot of people are vegan because they don't like the idea of animal cruelty, right? But then there is a good majority of vegans who are vegan for health reasons, who are vegan for environmental reasons. So when we're attacking these people and we're like, oh, you crazy obsessive punk, how could you ever give up meat and still call it meat? Like, slow down. I don't know. It just feels like, um, People are intimidated by vegan people and but then I realized I realized why because vegans are intimidating on that other half we have the vegans who are like you you can't be vegan if you use a microwave you can't be vegan if you cook your food there's a whole there's so many sections and categories right just like everything that humans do we have to make a group so that I can feel like I'm better than you right we can't just be plant-based we got to be vegan we can't just be vegan I have to be raw vegan so I feel like a lot of non-vegans are intimidated by veganism because they're like oh y'all think you're better than me just because you can put fucking rice paper on a stick and call it bacon you know like it just really feels like that there's this clash and there's this big disconnect and it makes people not want to go vegan and that's hurtful or I wouldn't say it's hurtful it's hard to see because it's like me personally having done the research i recognize the importance of being vegan for the longevity of humankind you know it doesn't have i could give a fudge i could give so many less fudges about the cows dying sorry but i'm trying to make sure that i can without guilt have a child and know that they can continue to have children and the world will be okay Hi, editing low here. I just wanted to say, because I can't believe I didn't bring it up in the video, spirituality is another really big reason that people explore veganism, including myself. If you want to get closer to your highest self, if you want to shed your skin of the antibiotics and things like that, you should explore veganism. If I want to feel alive, I will remove myself from things that are dead. I can do a whole other video on the benefits of veganism for spirituality, but that's a huge reason. Okay, back to environment. Now, I'm not saying I'm the most um, eco-friendly person, but I do have intentions of becoming more eco-friendly. I want to have solar panels. I want to have a compost bin. I want to have my own garden. We are in Trinity's garden. We create are the world around us and so it's hard to see people unwilling to give up meat even and nobody's saying you have to give up meat completely even just doing meatless mondays or stopping eating meat at every meal maybe you don't eat meat at breakfast and you eat it the rest of the meals but i feel like because of these sections that exist we feel like 
no, I can't, I don't fit anywhere. It's that ego thing, right? It ties completely into ego of us attaching to a label. We wanna to attach to the fact that I'm vegan. We wanna to attach to the fact that I'm a meat eater, I'm vegetarian. Instead of just being fluid and saying, hey, I recognize the environmental effects that this has, so on Tuesdays, I'm not gonna eat meat. Or on Fridays, I'm gonna try my best to make a plant-based meal. There's so much pressure to be perfect and have this perfect, perfectly crafted fucking vegan pizza that nobody wants to do it. And there's also that caveat of the fact, like I said, it's not convenient. But when we really think about it, convenience in every way, shape and form is killing us, okay? Like the way that we can get our groceries ordered to us, the way I can get on my phone right now and get pretty much anything I want, that is killing us as a society. I hate to say it, like convenience is killing us. If you wanna hear me, you'll hear me. If not, it's fine. We need to do hard things. It's okay to make an effort for things. Before I keep going, I do wanna get into some facts that I learned from Cowspiracy that really like, whoa, I was like, okay, we gotta stop this shit. Um, but I really encourage you guys to watch Cowspiracy and What the Health. I think it will make you have a better understanding on why people do decide to take the vegan route. One of the big ones for me is that livestock, right? When we think about what it takes to get the chicken to our plate or the beef to our plate, we have to remember how these animals feed. Most of these animals feed off of like they're grass fed or they're fed with feed, but they need to walk long period for long periods of time. So here it says livestock covers 45% of the earth's total land. 45%? Huh? So they're cutting into rainforest they're cutting into people's sacred land so that they can have cows and chickens and things like this roaming around hmm, problem uh, it says animal agriculture is the leading cause of species extinction ocean dead zones water pollution and habitat destruction leading cause okay 55 percent of the water consumed in the u.s is from animal agriculture it takes a thousand gallons of water to produce one gallon of milk, 2,500 gallons of water for one pound of beef. One pound of beef takes 2,500 gallons of water. I just changed my accent to make sure that it's getting understood by people in other areas. Cows produce 100 billion gallons of methane per day. Love that. Love it. Okay, so just some things that came from what the health. Eggs can be as harmful as um, cigarettes. Milk can increase your risk of cancer. And then this one is super, super, super important. Meat and dairy lobbyists. So what a lobbyist is, is somebody who kind of lobbies for a law to be passed. They have an influence on the FDA and dietary recommendations. So at the end of it all, what does it come down to? Capitalistic world capitalistic ways it's money if i'm getting paid to encourage you guys to spew a certain rule that's what you're gonna do if i'm if i can pay you guys to be like hey you need to drink more milk huh yeah i know y'all remember the uh want milk things okay if they're getting paid everybody's getting paid so just like with everything of course you want to do your own research and i mean like extensive research i'm super into reading and so i've read um some health and wellness books but there's more than books there's podcasts there's videos there's tiktoks at the end of the day if being vegan if it gives you that like uh, like you feel like an emotional response to be like why are you vegan why would you do that meat is important something is wrong right something in that is triggering you and you should really reflect on why do i feel this way right it's just not eating meat it's literally just putting down meat putting down dairy and you could come to the conclusion that well vegans are mean and vegans are crazy hippies and all of that might be true but at the end of the day i think what i'm really trying to get across is that veganism is just the label just like everything else is and we don't really necessarily have to attach to it right if you want to eat vegan meals you can i don't know if you're influenced by the creativity or you feel like it would be fun and you want to just step out of your comfort zone i think that's fine i find it so strange i follow um 
like I said, I follow a lot of vegan influencers who have reverted back to a meat diet. And to me, it's like, obviously, like it's not a problem. We grew up eating meat, we grew up eating milk, what's the deal? But they're getting bullied in their comments, like because people think it's not moral, it's not ethical, it's disgusting. So these same people are the people who want to encourage us to be vegan. And it's like, I feel like you're bullying me. I feel bullied because I'm watching someone who was vegan for 20 years get cussed out because they decided to have a milkshake. We can't be serious with everything that we want to advocate for. I think taking the gentle route is better instead of forcing it down people's neck or being like, one thing I hate, one thing I hate about some vegan people is like, just the, like, I'm better than you feeling like, you're not better than me. You might be a little more conscious. You might have got me there and you might have a little, be a little bit more strong minded. But if that's something you want to encourage me to be and influence me to be, why you got to be mean? Why you got to be like, you? <laughs> I'm so unserious today, but why do y'all be like, um, I wish I could find a video. It's like vegans come on the camera and be like, yeah, I chose my piece today by not being a, e a meat eating loser. Like, damn, chill out. Okay, I hear you. I get it. I, I'm under, I'm aware that it's the better thing for me to do, but let's do it. Let's take the gentle approach. Okay. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. And just so you guys know, like I said, like I am a very wellness forward girly, but I also have a certain amount of understanding of like the world that I live in. I can empathize with people who never see themselves going vegan, even if it's for the betterment of the world. Like I get it, right? We're so prone to doing things how we do them. And there's a lot of propaganda around every single topic in the world, right? But if it's not going vegan, right? Or if it's not taking some days to not eat meat or cut back, then what is it gonna be for you? And I'm genuinely asking. If you have any consideration for the generations to come, I challenge you to think what's gonna be your thing. The thing that you do that you can pass down to your family or you can influence others to do and so that you can die knowing that you weren't selfish with our earth. I cannot remember which book where he, cha he says, you know, I wish if we thought that we would be reborn, would we treat the world differently? Like if I knew that I was gonna be me again, living in the generation where they're having to wear oxygen masks outside and you can't drive a car anymore and you, the, you, there's no meat left. If I knew that that was also gonna be my life in the future, would I treat the world differently? And it's okay if it's not trying veganism, trying vegetarianism, if it's not that, okay, what is it? Are you gonna shower for two minutes less? Are you going to um, do Uber share instead of getting your own Uber? Are you gonna carpool with your friends? What is it? Because to be honest, veganism shouldn't intimidate you, but what should intimidate you is the fact that the world is ending. <laughs> it's done, like I, we can joke around as much as we want. We, if we don't lock in, ASAP, we were gonna look back and be like, damn, because we love to say, oh, it's not gonna be my generation, not gonna be my generation, not my problem, cool, but then why would you have children? Do not shoot the messenger. I promise you this has been placed on my heart from something greater than me, okay? So I just really encourage you to think about what's gonna be your thing, what's gonna be your contribution to the world, and how are you gonna be able to show up every day and be proud of the life that you lived? And vegans, before I go, Remember, there was a time when you weren't as open-minded as you became. So please, be a little nice, have a little compassion, all the things that you push for other people to have for the animals, have it for your fellow human being too. That would be great, it would be lovely. I love y'all so much. If you guys wanna see more videos of me just talking about my worldly views or me cooking my meals, please let me know. I have a whole playlist of my meals. Also, let me know in the comments if you are interested in veganism, if you could do, if you could commit to Meatless Mondays, whatever it is, like what's realistic for you. If it's none of these things, let me know what's real for you. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.